is another kind of therapy. It's called behavioral therapy. Behavioral therapy says that whatever your obsession is, whatever it is, is it avoiding cracks on the sidewalk? Is it washing your hands every two minutes? Is it checking on the door at night, making sure the door is locked? Whatever it is, behavioral therapy is, behavioral therapy says expose yourself. Expose yourself to that which you're obsessed to, but without, without doing anything about it. So for example, if you have to avoid cracks on the sidewalk, begin walking on cracks. Walk on it. If you have to wash your hands every two minutes, stop washing your hands. Stop. Force yourself to stop. Do it once every hour. Once every two hours. If you have to wash the counters every couple of hours, stop. For one day or two days, say I won't. Force yourself. Say I won't. I will leave the counters as they are. I will not vacuum the house today if that's what you obsess over. This is called behavioral therapy. Exposure to what causes the problem while not allowing repetitive behavior to occur. Let something spill on the ground. Let there be a couple of, you know, dots of rice on the ground. It's not a big deal. It will not kill you. You don't have to vacuum it today. Nothing will happen if you don't. Nothing. Expose yourself. Once you do that once, twice, you'll get adjusted. If you could go on for an entire day without having to wash your hands every two minutes, the next day will be easier. The day after that will be easier. Imam Ali alayhi salam, you know, this is not a, it says psychologists are saying this, psychiatrists are saying this today. But Imam Ali said this 1,400 years ago. Imam Ali alayhi salam said, إِذَا خِفْتَ شَيْئًا فَقَعْ If you fear something, expose yourself to it. Whatever it is that you fear, expose yourself to it. Do it immediately. And the fear will go away. Are you afraid of snakes? Go and hold a snake. Are you afraid of heights? Go stand on a tall building. Are you afraid of spiders? Hold a spider in your hand. I'm serious. This is what Imam Ali says. If you're afraid of public speaking, tomorrow you're going to give the lecture. And I will take a break. Come, speak, and stand in front of people. And do it immediately. Do it immediately without thinking, without questioning. I remember several years ago, in 2003, my father, Ayatollah Al-Qazwini, he had a heart attack. And he was in Iraq. So doctors told him, you have a heart attack, you had a heart attack, and you need a bypass surgery. And here in Iraq, we don't have the means. So it's better that you go back home. So my father, he came back to the United States. He wasn't sure. They hadn't told him you need surgery, but they told him you need better care. He came to the United States. He came to the doctor. This was back in Los Angeles. He came and he saw a doctor. They had all the checkups, and he told him that you need a triple bypass surgery. We need to change three of your arteries. He said when, they told him we're ready. You know, we have, we could go into surgery at whenever we'd like. Would you like to come tomorrow, the day after tomorrow? He said, no, right now. Right now. He told him, are you sure? He said, right now. I am ready for surgery right now. Take me. And they took him to the surgery and after a couple of hours he was out. We later asked him why why didn't you wait a day or two days? He said, why should I wait? If I come back at home and I think about it, I'll have anxiety, I'll develop fear of the surgery. I said, why develop anxiety? I'm ready now, let them take me. If you're afraid of something, expose yourself to it immediately. And it'll go away. Once, twice, and it'll go away. You're afraid of heights, you're afraid of... Planes, go on a plane. Once, twice, three times. 
force yourself. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, force yourself and the fear will go away. The obsession will go away. This is a cure. This is a cure that Imam Ali gave us a, a thousand and four hundred years ago. Try it. What is it that you're scared of? Whatever it is that you have fear of, sometimes you're scared of something that, you know, it's not a big deal. Everyone else is scared of. And it won't affect your life. You're scared of snakes. That's not a big deal. Because you don't see snakes every day. But sometimes you're scared of, for example, driving. And you have to drive every day to work. You're afraid of the freeway. And you have to take the freeway every day. You have to expose yourself. Otherwise, you will paralyze your life. 